Live, direct from locations at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and the ILS Anchor Desk in Cape Canaveral, Florida, coverage of the Russian proton rocket launch of the AMC-15 communication satellite for SES Americom. Welcome to the live broadcast of the launch of an International Launch Services Proton Rocket, which will carry the AMC-15 satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Hodges, reporting live from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where we are monitoring pre-launch activities at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Spacecraft launch is commencing. Launch vehicle lift off time is three hours twenty three minutes zero seconds local. Counting time. down seven T minus six, one minute five has four, been announced. Three, two. We lift off the proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, carrying the AMC fifteen satellite. This is the first leg of a mission to bring the latest in communication services to customers across the United States. We have the lift. T plus 20 seconds, combustion chambers pressure are nominal. T plus 30 seconds, launch vehicle flight is nominal. T plus 40 seconds. The flight status is nominal. Control system. We're coming up on a max dynamic pressure event. This is the point uh, during the mission where the vehicle experiences the maximum aerodynamic loads. These loads are caused by uh, a function of the vehicle's velocity, its angle of attack, and the density of the air. T plus 70 seconds. The flight status is nominal. Control system parameters are nominal. The proton flies a predefined trajectory, so we're able to control the uh, limits with uh, of my maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will will see during its flight. T plus 100 seconds, the flight status is nominal. As you can see on T your video monitor, there's seconds. a very nice plume emanating from the first stage. And processing launch vehicle telemetry data. T plus 120 seconds, we have second stage engine ignition. We have confirmation we have that the second stage of the proton vehicle has started and the rocket continues on its way. Separation. We're now awaiting second several other important milestones. Lockheed Martin Commercial Space Systems is proud to partner with our long-standing customer, SES Americom, to deliver the AMC-15 telecommunications satellite. 
Based on the award-winning A2100 satellite, AMC-15 will operate from 105 degrees west and will feature one of America's first KA-band intermediate frequency processed payloads. AMC-15 features 12 spot beams and 24 36 megahertz transponders of KU-band capacity for both FSS and DBS use. These beams will be deployed in a pattern to take advantage of frequency reuse while eliminating interference between and among the beams. AMC-15 is the 25th Lockheed Martin A2100 delivered to satellite operators around the world and the 10th A2100 delivered to SES Americom. Echo Star Communications Incorporated, a leading U.S. DBS operator and the dedicated customer of AMC-15, will distribute video and broadband services across all 50 states. AMC-15's twin, AMC-16, scheduled for launch the end of this year, will combine to be the first of many satellites dedicated to Americom to Home, a service designed to bring the very best in satellite resources to DTH operators in North America. Lockheed Martin Space Systems manufactures a wide range of satellite payloads, from commercial fixed and broadcast services to secure military communications for government customers. Lockheed Martin provides the best overall value for our customers' investment in satellite communication systems and support services. Throughout our nearly half-century track record of excellence in space, our customers have come to recognize Lockheed Martin for superior technical capabilities, design and engineering, manufacturing, operations, support, and problem solving. The A2100 is the industry's most flexible and modular platform and is first in in-orbit performance as measured by the insurance industry. It holds the best in-orbit track record as reflected in the lowest level of spacecraft anomalies. When you think of satellites, think Lockheed Martin first.